Well, it's springtime and time for me to make my bannock bread. One cup of flour, one teaspoon baking powder, quarter teaspoon salt, quarter cup powdered milk, one tablespoon shortening, and an optional is uh, one tablespoon of sugar. Bannock dates back into the 18th century, into the 1700s. They say it couldn't have been earlier than that because it's the end of the 1800s when baking powder was invented. Well, actually, that's not true. Baking powder was made as baking powder then. Before that, it was called pot ash. Pot ash is the white ash which remains when you burn hardwood. Somebody discovered that by putting that in, it chemically reacts with an acid and produces carbon dioxide, which gives little air bubbles to the bread. <clears throat> I consider it to be like uh, an 18th century bisquick, although this is for making bread. If you add more liquid to it, you can make a pancake batter and just crack one egg into it. Um, if you well you can make a bread out of it if you make it a real tacky dough you can make it as a dumpling if you uh, catch fish you can bread fish with it put it on as a coating on the fish and there are many other uses I'll whip some up Okay, I have all the ingredients in the bowl. Now, I do not know what the name of this thing is, but it works well for incorporating the shortening into the dry ingredients. You do this until it's mixed well, and then you can store it. I will put it in a um, heavy canvas bag, put it in my backpack, and then I got something if I want to make some bread or some pancakes or if I caught some fish and I want to put a coating on the fish this will basically do everything the reason I'm making it up right now is I'm planning on deep frying some uh, dandelion heads but you just do this and the stuff will stay good for months so I put it in my I make up a large batch, put it in my backpack, and let it sit. Use it when I need it. Bannock. 18th century Bisquick.